And I'm just telling you, dude, I was so lost. So I decided to never be lost again, and I totally recreated. <laughs> But I can tell some of you guys are pissed off inside. You don't like your life the way it is. Then you're here to change. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, now listen. Here's the deal. My entire life, I always look for people that can help me get from where I'm at to where I want to go. I said this earlier. Those that are willing to sacrifice are those that will go to the next level. If there's no sacrifice, there's no next level. Would everybody agree? Yes. Okay, so what are you holding on to you need to give up? Okay, now hold on. I'm not asking for an answer, but this is, this, is, this is between you and you. Now listen to me. I know this. A lot of you came a long way to get down here. I was just talking to a couple guys out here, an owner and two partners in the company. They're managers, and they, uh, they flew 18 hours on an airplane from Vietnam to get here. And I just want to know, when I say, what are you willing to sacrifice? Do you know what jet lag on 18 hours looks like? Yeah. But the jet lag is nothing. If they can get here and learn this and go back and teach it to their teams in Vietnam, they can give their families the life and their people that work for them the life that they want. Man, dude, they'll die legends. Really, this is no price to pay. But most people, they think, well, what is it going to cost me? The question is, next time you ask, what is it going to cost me? What has it costed you already to not know? I mean, I'm just asking. I mean, look, I want you to understand something. And I, and, I, and I hate to say this because I've had a lot of success and I thought success previously to me recreating, which I call it that term, and a lot of people think that that's nothing. Listen, that's everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the recreation that I created in my life, I've passed on that to other people's lives and I've given that to my wife and I've given that to my children and that's the good stuff in life. Mm -hmm. The money is just a bonus. Right. Success is an income. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. But we all need a lot of income, but success is an income. So what's success to you? So my goal is, is that in my younger years, I thought success meant a lot of money. I really did. I thought, man, hey, you know, we came from nothing. We were broke. If we had money, we could have it all. Like, that's what, that's what rich people had. They had great lives because they had money. The only difference between me and rich people was money. No, there was a certain mindset. And by the way, some rich people don't have that mindset. And that's the reason why they give it all back. Or that's the reason why they stay rich, but they lose their marriages. That's why they're rich and their kids look up to other people as their heroes. That's why they're rich and they look in the mirror and they hate who they are. I despised rich people my whole life. I hated them. I remember walking into church when I was younger and I wanted to give my life over to God. I was looking for something and I remember a lady looking at me up and down and she just like looked at me like, who are you? Because I, I wasn't dressed right to be there. And I remember, I was like, dude, I ain't never going to church again. I remember the way that rich people when I was younger because we were poor would look at us because we were poor. And so I was like, I hate rich people. I was real quick. I mean, I'm sure you guys have made judgments on people. Really what I learned is success it's so much, and once my wife got me to realize what it really is, number one, it is being healthy. Because if right now you guys had $10 million in the bank, if you went to the doctor and you told you had cancer, would you give up the $10 million to be healthy again, yes or no? Yes. yes. So what's more important, money or your health? Health. Okay, do you guys solve pro problems for a living, yes or no? Yes. If you know that your health's important to you, how many of you guys right now haven't solved the own health problem that you have? I didn't get that. Could you try again? <laughs> that's great. We're going to put that on social media. See, there's always, there's always going to, Siri's saying, say that again. Yeah. All right, listen to me. What I'm asking is, do you guys get paid to solve problems? Okay, do you want to know if I told you right now, what is the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people, which is the 95% majority of the world? Unsuccessful people cannot solve their own problems. Period. End of story. Now listen to me. As I sit here like maybe with this young man, I would say, hey, do you drink alcohol? He'd say, yeah. I'd say, okay. Is alcohol good for you? No. Okay. Hold on. Everything in moderation is okay. But do you drink too much alcohol? He says, yeah, I do. 
Okay. Can you stop? Yeah. Okay, but you haven't. So can you stop? And then you say, yeah, but then you haven't. And so you stay unsuccessful because you can't solve your own problem. You know the answer, but you won't solve it. So you stay unsuccessful. So you keep seeing all these people in this world that get what you want. And you're like, why can't I get that? It's because they're solving their own problems and their life is growing. And you can't solve your problems. So I am here not to band-aid any problems in your life. I am here to fix the core of your life, which is you. And I want to tell you this, if you'll change today, guys, and I'm going to tell you a story. I've never told this story before in my life. And if you guys really want to know what I did and you're really willing to change your life, I'm going to show you how I changed mine. And all I need to do is find out how someone else did something in their life. And I like to emulate that. So if somebody did something really good and they got great shape, first thing I always say is, hey, how did you eat? How much water did you drink? How many times did you go to the gym? How many grams of protein? How long did you work out for? What did you rest in between sets? What did you do? Like I, I start immediately going into it. But once I get the information, I go to war. I execute and I deliver on the spot. And my biggest flaw in life is I go from the idea to take an action too fast. She Every tells time. me, she's like, Every slow time. down, Every time. slow down. Mm -hmm. Just chill for one second, okay? Because when I see, one second. just one second, because when I see something I want, I want to go get it and I want it now. But I know that it's going to take pain. I know that it's going to be uncomfortable. So think about this, guys. Is it, is it hard being broke? Is it yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Is it hard working since you were 16 or 18 years old and you're looking up right now and you look at your ATM account and you say, this should be way bigger by now. Yeah. Is that hard? Yeah. Is it hard having a car payment when you had to finance it instead of actually being in the bank and writing your own check for it? Is it hard like being poor? Is it hard wondering if you know, like you're ever really gonna get the life that you want? Is, it, is that hard? Yes, all that stuff is hard. You know what? Success is the best hard that's out there. Damn right. Winning, yeah, choose your hard. Winning and fighting for your family and fighting for your life and fighting for yourself is the best thing in this world. And it will make your wife a better person, your husband a better person, it'll make your kids better people, it'll make your company a better place, and it all starts with you. Everything goes back to you. Everything. I told you guys this morning when we were in the workout, I said, do you know what unsuccessful people do? Do you know what people do who are amateurs? Every time there's a problem, they go look at everybody else. I want to know what the sell, oh, we need more sales, we need more marketing. No, you don't. Okay? You need to look at your mindset and you go look in the mirror. That's what you need to do. Okay, successful people, every time there's a problem, I, you know where the problem is? It's right here. It's always here. I'm, I'm, I'm telling myself some story. I've got something going in. I'm talking, I'm a sales prevention team in my own head, okay? I'm blocking out, I got an amazing life and I'm telling myself I don't and all of a sudden my amazing life is a bad life to me. That's how fast things change. Those who win keep a great perspective. I always find the good in everything. But I'm gonna tell you this, all right? You wanna know how it changed my life? You guys really wanna know? Yeah. I decided, and this is where total recreation came from. We were literally sitting there one day, and my wife, and I've had this story a million times, I worked constantly. I got to work at 7 a.m., I left at 2 in the morning. I left at 11, I left when they shut the gate. I didn't want to leave because I thought success was money. I'm so wrong, man. Guys, making money is the easiest thing in the world, okay? Look, tomorrow we're gonna to teach you a lot of skill that's gonna show you how to go make a lot of money, but I'd have made 10 times more money if I'd have kept my mindset right. I'd have made 10 times more money if my foundation of what success meant, if I would have really had that clear, concrete, crystal clear, and not confused for what that was. I needed to show up and be great for her. I need to show up and be great for my kids. I looked in the mirror, and I don't know if any of you have ever done this, but I did not like who I was. Dude, I hated myself. Honestly, and a lot of you guys, you feel good some days. You know, like when, when you're having your best day and people are buying and everything's great and you know, you wake up and you don't have a headache, you feel good and it's cool, but you know, when you wake up and the sun ain't shining, you wake up, you're fighting with your family, you wake up and you just lost your best customer, you know, and you wake up and all that shit's going on and you don't really like looking in the mirror that day and you feel tired and you're sick. How you wake up on that day? That's who you really are. Yeah, that's who you, yeah, that's who you really are. And so I decided to totally recreate. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I did. So I'm sitting there, 
It's about three years ago. And by the way, I know you guys, some of you guys know, know my story. But if you don't, I want to go back over the last three, four years. Okay? I'm sitting there. It's probably 2018. Okay? And I'm sitting there at the house. 2022, by the way. Mm-hmm, and we're in 2022. So that's like, what, four, 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 no. four, maybe four or five years ago? I'm going to ask this, okay? And by the way, I didn't have a mentor at that time. I did not have a mentor. We got to figure out how to get these mics fixed by tomorrow. But listen to me. We did not have, I did not have a mentor. So it took me a long time. You know what I can tell you? What I did in five years, I could teach you to do in one year. I know I can. The question is how psycho and committed will you be? But I'm going to tell you what I did. Okay. And I'm going to tell you this. So I'm sitting there in my house. Okay. And literally my wife is letting me know that I'm letting the family down because I am. Okay. She said, man, we've learned to live without you. All you do is think about work. You come in, you're one dimensional. My health was falling apart. I was literally giving up my health for money. You know what I'm saying? Everything in my life, what was actually making me happy. What was that? You didn't like that. Mm, yeah. Everything in my life, which was what makes me happy. I was giving up to try to be successful. And I want to tell you this, you guys can have it all. You guys get that? But you got to totally recreate. You got to understand this. There's only one thing in this life you got to manage and that's you. It's the only thing you got to freaking manage. And if you can pull this off and you can do this in your life, then you can show millions of other people how to do this in their life. And you're fan- you'll die a legend guaranteed. But you know why people can't pull this off? Because you're going to find problems that you have in your life and it's going to be hard to fix those problems, but you'd rather choose that problem and just stay in that hard instead of going to war to try to fix that. I went to war. I went to war. I got sick in the head and I went crazy. It was the last time I was going to let her down. Last time. So I go in the garage. I'm literally sitting there and I've got this, these, these weight sets around me that I ain't used in a long time. And I was like, dude, I'm going to go in the garage and I'm going to work out for hours. Like I'm going to work out so hard. I'm going to make up for the last four years. I didn't work out one of those kind of deals. Jimmy, you guys probably been there. But I wanted to go and back in that house and I wanted to be a different man to my wife. So you know what I did? I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, I'm going to totally recreate. I wanted to take my mind, my mind, which is the most important thing in this world. And I wanted to make it the strongest thing ever. And I wanted to make sure my foundation was clear what I wanted. I wanted the best family in the world. I wanted to fight for myself. Listen, some of you guys ain't ready to fight. Okay, I was ready to die and ready to fight that life. I was never going to feel devastated again by having her tell me that I let her down again. And I knew I was letting my kids down. And some of you guys, you're younger, so you don't, you haven't let anybody down yet, but you're letting yourself down. And I looked at it and every single thing that I seemed to get, it just would fall through my fingers, right? Because my shit was all wrong. I was all so lost up here. And I was chasing a bunch of people that were teaching me just to chase money. Listen. We're going to make you guys rich, but in order to get rich first, you're going to have to get this strong, really strong. And you're going to have to become you and no one else can change you. No one. You can't be influenced by anyone else. You're the influencer for you. The strongest influencer in your life will always be you because you talk to yourself all day, every day. And what I realized is that I was being a coward inside and I was listening to other people that were telling me I couldn't do I couldn't do that. That idea is stupid. You can't make that. And I'm just telling you, dude, I was so lost. So I decided to never be lost again. And I totally recreated. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.